I'm Yvette, I play violin. I'm Dan, I play the clarinet. I'm Ben, I play the bass. I'm Patrick, I play viola. And we are the Desert Quilt Quartet. We all met actually as performer composers going to school mm -hmm. at CalArts. We'll take a piece that someone has written. I think we started just with pieces we each wrote and then workshop it together. Kind of group composition. A lot have improvisation on them or have open parameters. Sure, maybe 10 to 15 seconds. We all know that there's something that that person will bring to the piece too, so there's a big variety of what is precise and what's not. Each one of us has you know, brought a certain amount of openness to the project so that um, if someone has, it could be an in-the-moment improvisatory idea or something, we all are flexible enough to go that way and that gives a certain energy that I really appreciate. Pieces are never finished, I think, in a way, because mm -hmm. they always keep getting a new life. Mm -hmm. and being created into something new because we each add something to it, I think, every time. But everyone is writing something for the group at some point. Yeah. yeah, as well as people from outside, too. Yeah, it's really fun to also to work with other disciplines, other arts. Film scores. Some dance collaborations, some visual art. that we've worked on a lot is memorizing <laughs> a lot of the compositions that we've been working on so that we can you know, seamlessly transition from one of our pieces to the other one. Um, we sort of talked about being like acoustic DJs or something like that. Um, and so that requires a certain type of rehearsal to prepare for that. We sometimes switch from one piece to another one, like using a transition, improvised transition or... Uh... We might come up with an idea and then develop it on the moment. Memorizing the music helps a lot because we're not like behind the music stand, mm -hmm. which also gives much more versatility to the mm -hmm. to the quartet yeah. and the places that we can perform in. A Desert Quilt concert can be a grab bag of anything we've done before, I think, mm -hmm. yeah, which can sometimes be planned out and sometimes any one of us cues certain things that we go to or are familiar. And, I think a lot of things we compose are also like transitionary material and the improv can be like the, the core thing that we yeah. go around but it's it's all different kinds and one of the things I love about playing with you guys is just there's no yeah there's no genre specification there's no expectation in one way how things will go on. I think from day one, though, it's always felt very comfortable and like the, son yeah. the sonic blend is, I think, a really special thing about this group. Our improvisation backgrounds are all slightly different, so there's different mix in there. that we did was probably not even a composition but that improvisation that we did in the dark in our friends Jared's mm. basement that we recorded and are hoping to release as a whole because it's 30 minutes of just a journey. It has all these shifts that kind of show these different things that we do together. I think something about the kind of co-led nature of this mm -hmm. group and especially that improv in the dark made it feel like there's like a multiplier of instruments or something because everything's connecting to so many things and shifting and so it's an interesting like <laughs> kind of other dimension feeling I think when it's not just a singular yeah. experience or emotional release.
especially when you can't even see anybody. So it's just like a collective sound. It's mm -hmm. not individual instruments anymore. Right. It's just it's just a collective noise or en energy. And there have been yeah. times when I've heard a note, and I'm not sure if I'm playing that note <laughs> or if Dan is playing the right. note on the clarinet yeah. or something like that, which is kind of amazing since the you know viola and clarinet aren't, don't produce sound in this any similar way to mm -hmm. each other. But there yeah. have been times um, when we are reading each other so thoroughly. It's kind of uncanny. It does feel like when we're playing. And this has probably developed over time, but even from the beginning, it felt a little bit like there was an intuitive sense of where we were going to go as a group. Definitely, like the um, the connection, how it's based on like the uniqueness of each of us. I feel it's more of a, how. We they like the four of us specifically relates to each other and mm -hmm. the connection and the energy that we have together. I'm Patrick and I play viola. I'm Ben and I play the bass. I'm Dan, I play clarinet. I'm Yvette and I play violin and we are the Desert Quilt Quartet.